Welcome back. Well, uh, we've uh, spoken about the queues, which are fine, considering a lot of regional markets are on holiday. But it's going to be all about individual stocks as we kick off the day. So our team is standing by with the CNBC TV18 list of top stocks to watch. Guys, good morning to all of you. Vivek, uh, let's kick it off. You're watching out for a bunch of uh, the power companies. What's the news? Well, good morning. Whole host of power companies on the radar. So yesterday, whole host of power companies went ahead and signed MOUs with uh, the Rajasthan government. Uh, so first on our list today is NTPC. Uh, NTPC's green energy arm, which is headed for an IPO. That is NTPC Green Energy Limited, signed an MOU with the government of uh, Rajasthan. Now they are looking to set up uh, and develop close to 25 gigawatt of renewable energy projects. So that's a significant uh, commitment from NTPC coming in there. Uh, the next stock on the radar is Tata Power. So Tata Power also has has signed an MOU with Rajasthan government. They have a capex commitment of close to 1.2 lakh crores. Now, the investments will be across the power distribution, transmission, as well as renewables. Almost 75,000 crore will be dedicated to renewable energy projects. Company is looking to go ahead and set up close to 10,000 megawatt of renewable energy capacity. Also, a to another capex close to 2,000 crore for module manufacturing. So, significant capex coming from Tata Power as well. And lastly, NHPC, along similar lines, they too have signed an MOU with the Rajasthan government estimated investment envisaged by the company is close to 50,000 crore rupees where will be, they be putting the money development of pump storage projects renewable energy as well as battery energy solar projects is where NHPC is looking to go ahead and do the capex as far as the state of Rajasthan is concerned okay all right Vivek thanks a lot for that well let's hop across to Vivek he's uh, to Abhishek he's here to tell us about uh, Bank of Maharashtra as well as IRDA morning Abhishek uh, well, uh, morning, Nigel. Yesterday, we broke the news of about, uh, you know, Bank of Maharashtra looking to raise QIP very soon. And they have launched their QIP. So CNBC TV18's uh, news break has been confirmed. Uh, the base issue size is about 1,750 crores, uh, which, based on demand, can be up by another uh, rupees 1,750 crores. So in the on the whole, they are looking to raise about uh, rupees 3,500 crore of capital. Uh, so semi flow price is about 60.36 per share, which is at a discount of 4.9%, uh, you know, they have given in terms of indicative price to SEBI flow price. So indicative price is about 57.36 per share after the discount and BRLM are Motilal, Oswal and others. Now calculation shows that if they raise about 3,500 crore, a tier 1 ratio of the bank could move to 15.75 from 13.4% uh, in the previous quarter. Book value will increase by 21% and net worth will increase by 31.5%. Uh, also, a uh, calculation shows that Government of India stake post this fundraise would come down to 79.6% versus 86.5% uh, that they had earlier. Ida, they have given their Q1 uh, business update. Sanctions for H1 is up about 302.5% YOY and disburses for H1 is uh, at 9,787 crore, which is up 56% on a YOY basis. However, the loan growth on a sequential basis has tapered down, so it is just at 2% quarter on quarter, but why or why the loan growth is close to 36%? Back to you. <clears throat> All right, uh, Abhishek, thank you very much uh, for that. Uh, so that's essentially uh, stocks in focus. Well, let's talk, talk about Indigo and Pyramal Pharma as well. Winnie's here with details. Winnie, good morning. Good morning. So yes, keeping an eye out on Interglobe Aviation could expect a bit of a positive move today because OMCs have reduced the ATF prices for the second consecutive month. So whether you look at it, any of the metro cities, Delhi, Kolkata, Mumbai, Chennai, there is a reduction in terms of prices. Overall, let's not forget for all aviation companies, raw material cost, that's a fuel cost, is around 40 to 50 percent, which accounts for their raw material cost. So these prices reducing surely turns out to be positive for them. And overall, ATF prices have been at the lowest level since April 2024 for these prices that we are seeing, as well as uh, since May 2024, they're down by 13%. So keep an eye out on that, a positive move expected for Interglobe Aviation. Paramal Pharma, also we're expecting a bit of a positive move here. Paramal Pharma Solutions, which is a part of Paramal Pharma, has announced an expansion of around $80 million expansion, and this is going to be in Connecticut for a sterile injection facility of the company. This will uh, increase the production of the company as well as operational efficiency. And in terms of production, currently uh, around 104 batches uh, that are produced in this facility per year that will move on to 240 by 2027 uh, when the facility will see the complete expansion coming into place in Q1 2027. Okay, got it, Vani. Thank you for that.
Let's uh, quickly go across to Sonal. She's watching out for a bunch of stocks as well. Sonal, uh, morning. Good morning. Well, three stocks on my radar. Let me start with India Glycols. They have expanded capacities in Uttarakhand in one of their plants. One is for 100 kiloliter per day of existing crane paste distillery at Uttarakhand, which increases the total capacity to 500 kiloliter per day. For biofuel ethanol plant, they have added 180 kiloliter per day, uh, which converts ethanol to biofuel. Uh, there is also a 2500 uh, metric tons for new chemical products at the same Uttarakhand facility where they have done an expansion. For Kalptaru projects, the company has uh, uh, been awarded award, uh, orders worth 1241 crore rupees, so that's a positive. For Blue Dart, like other logistic companies, this company has also gone ahead there, and they have spoken about general price increase from 1st Jan 2025. They say it will be in the range from 9 to 12 percent, so see some green on that stock as well. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot uh, for that, Sonal. Well, uh, let's do a quick recap of all the top stocks we covered for you. And as we said, all of them with positive news flow. We look at NDPC, Tadapa, NHPC, Bank of Maharashtra, Irita, Indiglobe Aviation, Pyramid Pharma, India Glycols, Kalpatru Projects, and Blue Dart. All of them will be reacting to positive news flow. Well, let's get in Manisha Gupta to tell us uh, what's going on in the commodity market. Morning, Manisha. Thank you for that, Nigel. Well, some profit-taking finally coming in for the gold prices after it's posted its best quarter in eight years. We did see prices uh, hit an all-time high of $26.85 an ounce. It's holding around $26.30 right now, so nearly $50 off its all-time highs right now. Same is the case with silver. Last week was a 12-year high, but since then we've seen the prices come off by nearly 3%. Metals have continued to gain up, though, with uh, China now promising uh, more to do with property sector and mortgages. We've seen Prices continue to firm higher. Copper is trading near its four-month high. Some profit-taking, of course, seen in case of uh, aluminum and zinc, where the international study group suggests that we are looking at higher supplies for the last quarter of this uh, year and the first quarter of 2025 as well. So next six months, we'll be looking at higher inventories is what's weighing on some of these metals. The crude oil prices in the meanwhile uh, have continued to decline as well. We did see September go down as a third monthly decline for the crude oil prices. And October has started on a very flat note as well. All right, uh, Manisha, thank you very much uh, for that. So that's commodities in focus. We'll take a quick commercial break here. Uh, on the other side, we'll be joined by Amni Shagarwal, Head of Research at Prabhudas Leather, for some fundamental stock talk. Stay tuned, that's coming up. We'll also have the management of Northern Arc Capital with us to talk about their earnings uh, and, of course, the outlook going forward.